Hello everybody, welcome back to the JRB Apiary, checking out Hive 1 today of our Layens Horizontal Hive. This is the one that is recovering still from the bear attack with its new queen that they raised up. Should be some capped brood in there. I wouldn't expect to have any actual emerging workers yet. It's a little too soon, but maybe within the next week. I'm using nitrile gloves for a little bit better feel today. Can bees sting through it? Yes, they can. But uh, it, they are less likely to sting this because it's not really like regular skin. And also, uh, so far they've been pretty good with me anyways. I'm probably due for my first sting. I'm willing to risk it just for that better dexterity and tactile feel that goes along with wearing these gloves. So we'll see how that goes. Hive uh, 2 is thriving. I'm no longer going to be giving them any of the uh, sugar water and things like that in order to feed them. Uh, I think they're good on their own at this point. Heavy frame. Some brood. That's all new brood, which is good. Wow, look at that brood. That's a lot of nice cat brood. Beautiful, really beautiful, nice pattern. Really fantastic. Honey on top, worker brood on the bottom. Really beautiful. That one there's got some pollen on its back legs. So we're getting some from somewhere still. Oh wow, just beautiful. Gorgeous brood, gorgeous brood pattern. Really good condition, really good shape. Mm -hmm. More brood. Lots of it. It's gorgeous. See where the those queen cells were on the bottom that have been getting eaten up now because we got a busy girl in here already so so far we have two very solid bird frames and one that's partial wow look at that another beautiful brood frame we'll call it three and a half Beautiful brood frames right now. This is another one that was salvaged. This one actually had fallen out of the hive, but they put it back together all right. This was the slash frame that had the big slash through it there that they've repaired beautifully. I'm not gonna overtax myself trying to find the queen this round. Obviously, there's a queen and she's busy. Another rescued frame. Call this one the ripple frame. Brood, larva, different stages of development. Another lovely frame, beautiful. Lots of larva in there actually too, besides the capped worker brood. Big old drone boy. Right there walking around, big fuzzy big eyes. So that is a male, the drones are males. They only eat honey, fly out and try to find a virgin queen to fertilize and then immediately die afterwards. Or if they don't find one, they come back and they continue to eat honey. Uh, they get fed by the others. That's, that's all the males do in the hive. They don't even have stingers actually. So uh, they don't even contribute from very much from a defense standpoint. A little bit of a lighter frame. This is one they still are drawing out, it looks like. This is still a frame in development. Except for there are larvae in it. But you can see this comb is lighter in color because this has not had brood hatch in it before. Once it has one round of brood that with new workers that emerge, it gets darker like the other comb that you saw. And of course, honey on top. But yeah, there. this is all fresh, future to be capped worker brood in the form of larva right now and probably eggs 
if we were to look really hard in there. So we have four frames of cat brood and maybe a half another one, plus another one that's in early development that is filling up nicely. I think they're just drawing this out. There are larvae in this one as well. Not as many. I can see eggs though, lots of eggs. And very early larval stage as well. Refill. And that's it. So inspection wise, I'm not gonna be doing a lot anymore with these ones. I don't want to compromise the hive by over inspecting and keep disrupting them. I, I can tell that then things are going well. The queen's doing her job great. We have lots of brood. There are gonna be brood emerging. These numbers are gonna be going up exponentially soon for as far as this hive, which will then draw out more frames and uh, things are going in the right direction. Bees didn't even get all my gloves, so I can't tell if these worked or not. Uh, overall, things are looking good. Uh, we're really doing well, and hopefully we can get these girls ready for the winter.